Dan put the phone down, having just told me that my son is upset. <laughs> I'm left worrying, with no idea of what's happening. Not able to comfort Josh, which is something I'm best at because I know him so well. Hello? So when Dan finally called me back, I was ready to go on the attack. But he disarmed me. He was polite and concerned and you realise I was worried I, about I, Josh. I'm sorry to hang up. Can, can we talk now? You upset Josh, didn't you? All I wanted to, was to make sure that Josh enjoys the fireworks because I know how much he looks forward to it and he wants to be there from start to finish. <sighs> so while I was waiting for Dan to call back, I kept thinking about Josh being upset and thinking whose fault that was, but then I realised that what really mattered was making Josh feel OK and not upset. Well, Josh was upset because he got caught in the middle of us arguing. Is he OK now? When Dan called back, he was polite and kind of careful in the way that he spoke to me. <laughs> That's not what I'm used to. Yeah, yeah, he's fine now because I, I told him that we would sort it out together. I was wary at first, but when I heard myself talking about it being an opportunity, yes, no, I, an opportunity. I surprised myself. <laughs> and he didn't come back at me that sarcastically, so that was good. He actually took my point about mind reading seriously and that made me feel like he was hearing me. And then we got into this rhythm of each giving a bit, being positive because we both wanted Josh to enjoy the fireworks and his birthday. If we can do this once, then maybe we can do it next time something's a bit tricky. Oh, poor Josh. He's just a kid and we're supposed to be the grown-ups. Um, and once I noticed how upset he was, everything changed. Josh, you're really upset, aren't you? Can you give it to me? Hey, hang, hang on. Um, Josh is upset, so I'm going to have to call you back. It suddenly wasn't about who was going to win. It was, it was all about, it was all about Josh, really. What's happened? Let me talk to him. Well, look, I'm, I'm dealing with it. I'll, I'll call you back as soon as I can, okay? So, I had to get myself under control so I didn't get upset. And you know, that's something I do at work, actually. I've, I've had to learn to stay cool and professional when someone or, or something's winding me up. So I, I just decided that's that's what I'd have to do. I'd have to make a decision not to let myself get wound up by Carol. And um, and in and in fairness, you know, she can be like that too. She can be really professional. We're we're both intelligent people, so there's no reason that we shouldn't be able to figure things out. It's a really big deal for me, even if it might not seem it. So why is it all right for you to move the time on his birthday weekend? I, I don't get that. I get that it's important to stick to plans, but sometimes things have to be able to change a bit, just for Josh's sake. So, so I, you know, I, I decided that I was going to have to, you know, put myself in a place where I could remind myself of what I wanted, what my goals were, and get really clear about that. So, n not to upset Josh, not to lose out on time with my brother's family, and make sure that he, he could enjoy the fireworks party and make sure I could get Carol on board for, for taking him to the game. And, um, and I had to remember that although Carol does genuinely uh, appear to enjoy pressing my buttons, that she obviously does want him to have the best time too. So. Of course, I would like Josh to have a good time. I, I just really wanted him to come and I hoped you would too. Well, I also thought that you... I think if uh, if I'm honest, I was I was a bit jealous because of the whole the fireworks thing. You know that was something we we did every year together um, up until we split. And uh, yeah, I guess that's um, I guess that's that's the bit I really miss. So anyway. Um, what did I do? I stayed. I, I stayed cool, even when she was being a bit sarcastic. And funnily enough, that actually allowed me to really hear her when she said, "I suppose this is an opportunity or something like that." Because actually, fair dues, she was right, and uh, and she was also right about the mind reading. It, it's far better to ask people clearly. And uh, and finally, yeah, just like being at work, and when you've got to tell someone to do something or get them to work with you better sometimes you just need to stay professional and polite even when what you really want to do 
is uh, is t <laughs> tell them to get a move on. And um, <laughs> I tell you, I really wanted to have a go at her, but I, but I didn't. So um, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm hoping that's an improvement on my part, maybe. I thought they were going to get really angry, but Dad was kind and he spoke to Mum. Now I get to see my cousins and go to the fireworks. I'm sad Dad won't be there though. <laughs>